no excuse, my brother and my sister. You have no excuse. <laughs> you know what? These people, this uh, abroad talk, abroad talk. Mm. It doesn't really, it doesn't really work for me because you know I just managed to come out with third class, and somehow uh, second class though, well, and I read though, I studied though, God, now I did my best though. This one, cry no more. You have no excuse. Ah, I didn't see the four walls of a university. Chai, I can't, I can't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ah, I'm not sure that they will ever accept me in any country abroad. Hey, stop saying that, okay? There are lots, lots, and lots of schools that can accept you. Not just with a pass, with a class, a second class law or HND qualif uh, qualification, but very cheap schools as well in the UK. So. guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you to my own and returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back again i really appreciate your love and your support and i don't take it for granted you guys in case you're new here and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the bell icon so that whenever i post a new video you will be the first person to be notified okay and in case you're returning to this channel but you have not subscribed like you look at my channel you see my channel or you see me talk you 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 see the effort i'm putting in but for some reason you just say <laughs> this girl i'm not going to subscribe to your channel if you like talk from today to tomorrow please consider subscribing okay and turn on the bell icon as well so that whenever i post a new video you'll be the first person to be notified <laughs> you guys just subscribing and turning on the bell icon just puts you on the vip list okay and you will just be on my vip list anytime i post a new video you will be the first person to be notified yes that's it so you guys today i'm going to be talking about from the title of the video you already know what i want to talk about okay those universities in uk that accept third class second class like it's just it, what they need what they need that your certificate for is just like it's an entry requirement for the master's program that you want to do in the uk see there are lots of universities okay i'm going to be mentioning up to 20 of them so you want to stay tuned so that like you have options you have you have a choice then and there are cheap, really really cheap schools among these universities that i'm going to be mentioning today so you want to stay tuned okay and get all of the details all right and then uh, i just have to let you know that um you know what um i'm not i i don't i'm not judging you okay for maybe getting up uh, see a lot of factors contribute to people having a third class a lower a lower class in and um, when they are graduating from school and things like that not because they didn't put in the effort not because they did not study but you know some sometimes some factors <laughs> like the people that are teaching us can be factors okay and a lot of things can just be factors so i'm not even blaming you you don't you don't and let me tell you i just want to tell you most importantly that you don't have an excuse not to study abroad because you had a third class because you had a second class or even because you have a HND okay I did not go to universities I never saw the followers of a university I only went to polytechnic it is not an excuse my dear you can actually come from wherever you are to Bodo Yibo and study <laughs> okay you don't have an excuse whatsoever all right so I'm just going to be sharing with you all of those schools so stay tuned so that you can get those schools okay and you know the the beautiful thing about it is that some of these schools even offer scholarship even with this your class and everything okay it's not just them um, those people that had um first class in their in their uh, first degree or anything like that that are uh, being offered scholarship even those that have third class also and even hnd people also have um you know those with hnd qualifications also get scholarship so that's what i'll be sharing with you today and i'm just going to be looking into my um my uh, phone so that i can get all of that detail and not forget anything just so you guys um, know okay number one on my list is the university of birmingham okay so that you graduated the third class does not mean you cannot actually study in the university of birmingham or at the university of birmingham you can actually study there and they offer um, um admission to third class certificate holders to study few and selected business masters program just so you know that okay and another one is the university of kent so you can study your master's program at the university of kent with ease like you don't you don't even see i i don't know how else i'm going to tell you even if you have a, a third class a pass or even a hnd qualification you can actually study at the university of kent the next university is university of Portsmouth, so you can get a scholarship like i told you earlier you can even get 
scholarship okay scholarship so you can get um, a master scholarship program for international students especially for those that are coming from like nigeria and ghana you can actually get um scholarship at the university of Portsmouth, okay to study um the master's program that you're interested in and you can also get to study uh for uh, on scholarship okay for even a science related course okay just so that you know the next um, university on my list is Kingston University London so even if you graduate with a pass you have a HND or you have a third class degree oh, wow. you can actually still get admission into the university um, into the um, Kingston University London to study whatever master's program that you're interested in although the, ad the admission is conditional upon satisfying other requirements provided or demanded by the school all right the next university on my list is the University of Surrey I don't know if I'm pronouncing that very well but yeah the University of Surrey <laughs> So, University of Surrey also offers you the um, opportunity of studying a master's program in their school or in their university, provided you meet up with their requirements. Of course, you have to meet up with their conditional requirements. Like, when you get admission, they will give you something called the conditional offer of admission, right? So, when they give it to you, um, you have to fulfill all those requirements for them to, you know, proceed to giving the unconditional offer. So, if you're able to do that, then, I mean, you're good to go. The next on my list is university of warwick okay so if you are um if you if you know the university of warwick then yeah you can also get accepted with a third class for a master's program in that and of course the hnd certificate so you can always do that the next university is the university of bradford you can also get global development scholarship to aid your you know your finances while studying in the school okay oh, so no. whether you have a HND, HND qualification third class second class you can actually get admission the university of bradford the next university is queen mary university of london yes i know you're surprised london uh -uh, how can they uh, don't worry they got your back okay you can actually apply even with the third class okay um another university is a northumbria university so you can actually get you know if you get this if you have a lower second class degree um or lower then you can actually get um, admission into this university the next university is the university of bristol uwe bristol <laughs> So yeah, once you're able to, um, um, you know, satisfy the conditional, um, you know, requirements, those things that you need to be able to um, enter into or uh, do the master's program in the school, the entry level requirements, then yeah, you're good. To the go. next university is University College London. Yes, you heard me right. So whether or not you have a third class, you can actually get admission to do a master's program in this university. The next university is University of Staffordshire. Okay, so. You can actually get um university and it's also open to international students so yeah just so you know both home students for some of them home students and um and domestic uh, and um international students actually apply so you don't you don't have a problem to be honest um the next university on my list is manchester metropolitan university okay so when you go to the official website you just see what their requirements are if you're able to meet up with it then you're good to go my dear whether with your hnd whether with your third class whether with your tutu, whatever it is, you can actually get admission to do a master's program in that university. The next one on my list is the University of Sussex. So yeah, Sussex, <laughs> Essex. <laughs> yeah, the next university is the University of Sussex. So yeah, if you're able to, you know, fulfill the requirements, like I earlier said, because there are a lot more other things that some of these schools actually look at to know whether or not they will offer you the admission, whether you have a HND qualification or you have a third class or second class um, lower. There are things that they consider, okay, more than that grade that you graduated with from your undergraduate um, um, school or your undergraduate, undergraduate study. So, yeah, just so you know. And I'm just, I will say something at the end of this video. So, you want to stay to the end so that you know what I'm going to talk about. So, I'm going to like share with you guys some things that might, you know, give you. Uh, a better chance or make you stand a better chance of getting considered whether or not you have a HND qualification or a third class or a second class lower okay the next university is University of East Anglia okay so you can also apply 
um, at um, for a master's program at the University of East Anglia with a pass or a third class undergraduate certificate, okay, a result certificate. So just so you know, but well, just make sure that you're able to meet up with all their requirements, the entry level exam, and just meet up with all the requirements highlighted by the school, and you'll be good to go. The next university is the King's College London. Okay, the fact that you graduated with a third class, okay, does not mean that you cannot study in a school in London. That's just that's that's just what's giving me joy in all of these things. So it's not like it's some um, some universities are you know selected. Like I've mentioned, like up to three universities in London that you can actually study. Okay, so yeah, for those that it freaks anyway, because I mean school is school. <laughs> in my opinion but yeah that is it so there are a lot more other universities and i'm just going to quickly mention them as well the next university is swansea university okay you can actually go whether you have a pass second class lower third class hnd you are covered don't worry university of um essex university of plymouth university of south wales university of Hertfordshire, um edinburgh napier universities university of south wales um, yeah, I've mentioned that already. University of Suffolk, Buckinghamshire New University, London Metropolitan University, I think I've mentioned that before, um, Solent University, Robert Garden University, like, these schools are actually, you know, you, you can't, they're not like... If you, if you if you talk about um, schools you know in in uk and everything you hear cambridge you hear uh, manchester you hear this, but these are schools i can actually apply to I, i'm telling you university of sunderland sunderland this resonates with me so much because sunderland is a place is a very cheap place to live in it the, the school fees is cheap like check out these schools okay you know which one is cheap their school fees like as much as you are even opportune to apply to these universities whether you have a pass if a class a second class lower or a hnd qualification you can actually decide to select very cheap schools and go for them see what are we talking about what are we saying again <laughs> the next one is sheffield hallam university okay rohampton university i think i've mentioned um bristol salford university cardiff metropolitan university ah you guys bedfordshire university guys these are a lot of universities i've mentioned up to 30 universities right now if i'm not mistaken so do well to check them out you have no excuse my brother and my sister you have no excuse <sighs> you know what these people this uh, i brought talk i brought talk it doesn't really it doesn't really work for me because you know i just managed to come out with third class and somehow uh, second class though well and i read though i studied oh god no i did my best though this one cry no more you have no excuse ah i didn't see the four walls of a university chai I, ca I can't i'm not sure i'm not sure ah i'm not sure that they will ever accept me in any country abroad hey stop saying that okay there are lots lots and lots of schools that can accept you not just with a pass if a class is a second class law or hnd qualif uh, qualification but very cheap schools as well in the uk so what are you waiting for quickly 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 okay start looking up the schools try to start getting their um requirements and making sure that you're meeting up with ease and things like that i said that i was going to tell you some things that will help you okay um in you know, standing a better chance of getting admissions to these universities now there are some universities that when they want to give admissions to those that are interested in doing or going for a master's program in their schools they look at some things okay there are some things that they look at all right and one of those things is the statement of purpose like they call it sop or motivation letter or like there are different things i actually call it anyway but statement of purpose that's what i know it as okay so in this statement of purpose you state um you know briefly who you are okay or what your your undergraduate study and um, qualification was um your undergraduate discipline was rather <laughs> then you also state um your motivations for wanting to be in this like when you're stating these things when you're saying these things you have to make them feel to feel you you understand you have to make them know that you are into them and try to bring them into you that is just the way it works okay so when you present this your strong statement of purpose all right it makes them feel like men i mean this person okay this person actually has a third class yes we actually accept a class but 
Um, there are some people that they have taught class, but their statement of purpose is not even good enough. And that's where they usually have problems, okay? They just write anything and they think that it will just take anybody. No. Okay, so you have to make sure that your statement of purpose is really, really strong, convincing, very convincing and, you know, concise, straight to the point. Talk about your motivations for going for that course in their school. Talk about reasons why you want to be in their school and why you feel like they are the best people that can give you the, um, the you know, education you desire or require. Talk about how you're going to use these things that you learn at the end of the day to better the world. Things like that. That's what they want to see. That's what they want to know. So, that is it, guys. I have come to the end of this video today, you guys. Please and please like this video. Liking these videos really help the videos, okay? Let me tell you, like the video. It's not only you that sees this video. That's the way you need it. Somebody else will need it. So, like it. Share with somebody as well, okay? Share with someone so that they can also like and then share and then like and share and yeah, the chain continues like that. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and turn on the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified, okay? Until I come your way again next time, you guys. Don't give up. Stay motivated. Keep applying, okay? Until I see you at the top. Bye-bye.